Hello and welcome to Target Lock TV. My name is Simon and with me today I have Johan. Welcome Johan. Thank you Simon. Good to be here. It's always nice to have you by my side and um, with us today we have two combatants. We have Emil Hansson from Sweden, Gothenburg and we also have Torbjörn Nielsen from Aarhus in Denmark. The play has already started uh, so maybe we should uh, get through uh, reading out the lists. Uh, would you like to help me with that, Johan? Absolutely. I think I'll start with Emin's list. We see four T-70X wings. And I know a couple of these by heart. Uh, Lieutenant Bastian, uh, one of my favorite uh, T-70X wings. He, he has the ability to take or acquire a lock even on a ship after that ship has uh, at range one to two has been dealt a damage card so really nice to get him up close to the enemy and have the other ships fire on on the enemy uh, ship first uh we have also jessica pava uh, initiative three bastion was initiative two and she likes to be around uh, other friends uh, she has a charge token and she can spend that to re-roll up to one dice for each uh, friendly ship at range 0 to 1. Uh, she can also spend non-recurring charges from equipped uh, Astromex as well uh, to use that ability. But she cannot use it if she's all alone. Then we have a couple of new uh, ships, I think. We have Nimi Chirin. Uh, I have <laughs> never played him or her before. Uh, while you perform an attack, if the defender's initiative is higher than yours, you may change one black result to a focus result. So I guess she's likely, or he is likely to take focus a lot and uh, fight versus the high initiative pilots. Uh, and last but not least, at initiative four, we have Temin Wixley or Snap Wixley from, from Legends, I guess. Maybe he's, he's in, in the movies as well. I don't know. Um, and uh, I think this is a new pilot from the Heroes, Heralds of Hope, right? At the mm -hmm. start of the engagement phase, each friendly T-70 X-Wing at range 0 to 3 may gain one strain token to flip its equipped configuration upgrade. If it does, that ship gains a calculate token. So you can uh, you can fly with all your wings closed and then snap them up, just like his uh, nickname, uh, to fire at full uh, a full solo there. Uh, and, but you have to take a strain, that. so it's uh, yeah you you get to calculate, but um, you have to take a strain. That's a pretty dangerous move as well. Um, if we then turn to Torbjorn's side, we have a really interesting list, uh, very similar to one of the the lists I built first in in hyperspace before I went on to play fire sprays. So we're using um, uh, we have ten amp in the B wing. Uh, while he defends or performs an attack, he can spend one stress token to change all the eyeball results to evades or hits. So he likes to be stressed, but he also likes to use that stress so that he can use the full extent of his dial after that turn, shooting or defending. Um, to support him, we have Dutch Vander, my favorite Y-Wing pilot uh, in Rebels. Uh, he has ion torpedoes, thermal detonators, ion cannon turret, and the R4 astromech. And his ability is that after he performs a target lock action, he can choose a friendly ship at range 1 to 3, and that ship may acquire a lock on the object that he uh, Dutch locked. And he can ignore the range restrictions. So really nice, gets one free lock every turn to a ship that may be stressed already, and may also also ships that may not take the target lock action so that's really nice another really good support ship for rebels is jake farrell in the a-wing and after he performs a barrel or boost action he can choose a friendly ship at range 0 to 1 that includes himself and that ship may perform a focus action uh, with that ability and some nice uh, triggering action um, he can actually give two ships uh, focus um, uh, focuses um, up, uh, during a single turn if he chooses not to take one himself uh, but the normal normal way i say is to give him a focus and give another ship a focus as well and finally this is the odd spot i think or the odd part jack porkins i have not seen him since 1.0 uh he's um, 
in the in the T65 X Wing and his ability reads after you receive the stress token you may roll one attack die to remove it. On a hit result suffer one hit damage. So three out of eight chance or risk I would say to take a damage if you remove stress this way. All of this list removes at initiative four. So uh, they can choose how when to activate and when to shoot. Do you think this is the the the, the main reason uh, to choose uh, to take uh, Jack Porkins is that his uh, initiative I, value? I, I'm not sure to be honest. Um, I I've played a very similar list like this a lot, mm -hmm. even in extended where I used Wolf Arrow as the main damage dealer. There was a similar list to topping a a Polish tournament as well a while back, uh, but it was a little bit different using Jan Ors instead, or or as a complement to. Um, to da deal damage. Um, I, I say J Jake is a very odd choice, I think, in this list. It's really nice, of course, to shed stress, but in the other list that I've seen and one of the lists that I've tried of a variation uh, is to use Garvin Drace instead. He's also an HD4 uh, pilot for the G65 X-Wing and his ability reads something like, after you spend a focus token, choose a, a friendly ship within range zero to three and that that ship may take a or may may, may gain a, a focus token so it also works on stressed ships uh, so that's that's the, the the pilot that i've been using and i have seen previously in a list consisting of sh sh ships like this yeah garvin is two points more expensive but oh yeah, that might that be, might then be a, it. a reason. Yeah, we. I didn't read all the upgrades for this list. Um, maybe I should just quickly talk. Yeah, I read them for Dutch, of course. Uh, Jack Porkins has proton torpedoes, so that's a, a strong upgrade, strong offensive upgrade, of course. Uh, apart from this, from the S foils, Ten Nam only has the S foils, so he's not. But he's not. In, in the in the list I have, he's not utilizing any cannon or anything like that. No. So just the S fall, so that gives him the opportunity to to link a barrel roll to a focus. Maybe that's the reason why. Mm -hmm. So he can choose to use the the basic um, linked ability uh, focus into red barrel, and then instead do the opposite: do the barrel first, and then link to a red target lock it could be good to get some extra range maybe sometimes and jake has dead eye shot that uh, only works through the bullseye but if you if you choose to activate it you can spend one hit result or change one crit to a hit result and if you do the defender need, uh, must expose one of its damage cards and he also is equipped with magpul's warheads which is i think a great defensive tool uh, for protecting your other ships because if that magpulse hits, uh, apart from from dealing out a crit damage, the defender is both jammed and gains one deplete token. So uh, that's really, really good for defensive purposes. Uh, when it comes to Emmons list, there are no upgrades besides the integrated as well as for the X-Wings. So that's, that gets covered pretty easily and fast. So let's yes. turn our attention then maybe to the board. What's happening? Well, I've been speaking so much about <laughs> yeah. the and the list. But we haven't seen any fight yet. So this is pretty good timing, I guess, to come back to the, to the game and see what's happening. Really While you tight. were talking, I have yeah? uh, updated the colors on mm. uh, Ilman's list so that it will be easier to follow for our viewers. Perfect, and that's good because they are flying in a very tight formation right now. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting. I think, I think Emma's approach there through the rocks is pretty nice. Yeah, he really wants to catch some or at least one of Torbjorn's um, 
ships. A little on the side, I guess. And uh, we'll see what, what happens with Tenumb or if uh, Jake can hurry up and get into the fight. So here's a die roll and it's a hit. And he clears the stress on Jeb, but he takes one damage. Ah. So that was... Hmm. And that's a three bank with a boost. Yeah, the players said in the chat that there, there is some some lag with the dials. Yeah. But it seems we have a first attack now. Jake Por Porkins attacking Nimi. Should we know taking a target lock? Okay, good. That's that's the we're still in the action step. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Dutch at this range. I'm a little bit curious about this because Dutch at this range will have no ion opportunity either, and he has just does have range for the turret, and he doesn't have any ship in arc for the missile or the turret. Torpedo, whatever it is. And it's a torpedo, iron torpedo. So, but however, next turn, of course, uh, Emil's ships will move in closer. Mm -hmm. And he managed to, to give a a focus also to, to Jake Porkings with Jake, I see. So that's also good for those torpedoes. They will be double modded. Tenamp going aggressively forward. Wonder if he has arc there. Yeah, he should have arc on. On yellow. Bastion. But he barrel roll out of arc but maybe not out of range i don't know if that is out of range from from bastian certainly out of range from, from bastian's ability of course if he would have taken that much damage but it's still that was a bit interesting but of course he did, didn't want to be shot maybe by all four x-wings and it is nice for these b-wings with i should say very limited dials to be on the outsides then they can slowly turn in maybe bank in or, or do a, a hard to maybe even bump but still have the arc on the enemy so we're checking some ranges now yeah what he's doing now is is um, forcing him to choose uh, I to either go to the right or to the left yep um, And that's if you see that bug that I see now, that where the the arc is pointing out the side of the X-wing, that is a common uh, bug in TTS. It has something to do with with packet loss, uh, where it looks really, really, really weird. But the chat, ladies and gentlemen, is what we go by for seeing if something is in range and obstruction and so on. We have four dice from the proton torpedo now uh, Jake spends the lock for that fourth blank die and that's a hit spends the focus three hits and a crit two evade dice now for Nimichiri see if 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 we have any evades or if we will eat through shields and everything so one reroll out of the box. We 
reloading. One evade. Yeah. So but that's, that's three shields. All the shields off of Nimi. But I think I think Emily is happy about that. Rolling one evade there. Not not taking the crit on the hull. Yeah, that's there one uh, proton torpedo gone as well. Yeah. There are some nasty crits in this game. No range from Tenum. And that means that there are no more shots coming from Tuga. There are no valid targets from Jessica Pava. And Shireen has no targets either. There we have it. The only target is Bastion's range 3 shot against Tenan. We should also maybe mention that there has been a big update to uh, TTS or to the, to the X-Wing mod on TTS today. So it might be some problems due to that as well. So that's one hit, one crit. Yeah, one extra Vedai for the B-Wing. And well, I, I'd be pretty happy with this, I think. Just taking a single shield on 10 numb at this point in the game is, is pretty nice. I also really like that um, Turbion has the has Jake tucked away in the back where he can do he can take so many maneuvers to uh, actually deal out the focus tokens mm. in the way he wants to, wants to do it because flying after flying Jake a lot I've um, noticed that he is pretty fast and if he gets too close to his friends suddenly he can't really take those maneuvers that he wants to take in order to give the focus tokens especially if he is stressed and needs to take blue maneuvers in order to to get working so i think this is pretty good he can be very very fast in this case i mean a good a good move could be to do a three hard to the left and then use both barrel and focus to give dutch and Dick Porkins um, focus tokens. Mm -hmm. I would probably also do a a bank one with Jack. Take another target lock there to fire off another proton torpedo against one of the X wings. Maybe maybe do a two bank with Dutch to the left to get that ion turret in and uh, Braylon. Oh, and not Braylon. Ten up <laughs> could probably just do a one bank and. And then the barrel roll um, to not get too far in. As for Emil, he needs to maintain formation in order to to make Jessica as powerful as possible. But he also wants to cut the distance for the proton torpedoes. So he might just go to some sort of three bank style mm -hmm. or something like that to get to, to kind of close the distance. Because Jack Porkins cannot really do a one forward, I think he will end up on that little tiny rock. So he, I think the the one bank to the left is the kind of a dead giveaway. He could use that to at least close the distance to Jack, not take any more proton torpedoes. But then the question is, which is his next target? Should he go for the shielded B wing? Should he go? Should he try to take out Jack before any further torpedoes yeah. hit? Do you think or... Ten Tenamb is is turning in, or do you think he's just yeah. baiting with I, him? He could... No, I, I think I think he needs to turn in. I think he needs to deal damage because yeah. he can shoot at initiative four, which is which is higher than most of um, of Emma's uh, ships, uh, and uh, if he can get another proton torpedo off. He could kill one of the opposing X-Wings before mm -hmm. he can shoot. So, yeah, I think he, he cannot 
skirt the edge for too long, especially since the B-Wing has such a poor dial. It needs to... It likes to take these tiny banks uh, and um, and utilize the barrels. He could, of course, also go too, too hard um, to the right and then barrel, because then he can barrel both left and right mm. uh, if he wants to. But I think the, the, the bank is safer keeping him close to his other other ships but still on the flank so to speak yeah the the, the two bank if if um, Emil decides to to go hard for Tenam but the two the two uh, not the two bank but the two hard could be blocked actually and and um, Emil could just sacrifice Braylon to do that but at the same time, I think Braylon wants to keep his options up now and not blo not use any of his ships for blocking unless he can fire at something else because he needs that he needs to return some fire now. He needs to kill or not kill, but he needs to at least get something in. And I wonder if what the the best target for this is. I know that Dutch after playing Dutch myself a lot, Dutch <laughs> goes down really, really fast if you focus fire him, and that means one less free target lock per turn and also no iron cannon threat or iron turret threat so i would i would probably go for dutch yeah here we have it's not a bank three but it's a bank two yeah so it's still if jack goes for the for the one bank it's still not going to be in range two at least not nimi we'll see about the other ships the bank two is blue as well so he will well, if he if he <laughs> continues to do uh, the same move with all of the four of his ships, he will lose that um, strain there as well. Mm, yeah, yeah. On Bastion. Yeah, because we have some closed S falls on all but Bastion right now. Focus barrel roll. Focus barrel roll. That is interesting. With the closed S foils, mm -hmm. I don't think Jake is going one forward. No. So he's gonna miss that uh, bullseye. Hmm. That's interesting. But maybe he needs to make room for the other ships. But I would, I would open my I wings. I think he's trying to. Oh, make they, a can't, look. they can't. They uh, can't barrel roll if they open the wings. So what's the deal with the T seventies? I always forget. Let's see. <clears throat> Can they barrel roll with open wings? Is that the reason why you kept them close? Um, he can barrel roll with them closed. Oh, but he has he has snap Wixley, right? So he can he can he can get snap them all up, right? He's got uh, Tamin Wixley. Let's see. Exactly. There we go. Exactly. So that's, I guess, what he will be doing. Yeah, he did that right now. Yeah, each friendly T seventy X wing. And that K turn from Bastian. I did not expect that. Why a K turn? It was perfectly blocked, blocking Tenam though, perfectly. Yeah. And Tenam did also do do the the two turn, which is a little bit, as I said, uh, was a little bit uh, risky. Even though it's it's got a, it get, gives him a really nice arc, um, the bank would have probably allowed him to barrel and get that stress and everything to hit harder. But he can still get a free target lock from the yeah. This is gonna and hurt. here we have the bank from Jack, and this means that Porkins is now actually missing out on two nice juicy targets for the proton. Yeah. But he can still fire at both Bastion and Tenny uh, Wixley. But yeah, he... but the main target here, Nimi, uh, yeah, is it's, out of range. Safe. Yeah. Oh, it's too close, but also out of range. And now, yeah, that's a two bank as well from Dutch. Uh, Do you and... think we'll see an iron torpedo here? Uh, no, I, I think I think uh, Dutch will provide Bastion with a lock on. Uh, uh, no, uh, we provide Jack Porkins with a lock on Bastion. I think it depends because I mean the the iron torpedo, of course, on Nemi will put uh, her or him on a rock. 
the next turn and that's good one ship that cannot shoot so that's a very appetizing target yeah yeah and then he can then he should probably get that lock to to tenam so tenam can focus fire and that means also that uh, porkins is not going to fire any proton torpedo this turn oh giving it oh that's interesting well you have some magpul's warheads that's also pretty nicely played because now he can make sure that Nimi, uh, who is at range one of Jack Porkins, can actually be shot by Jake with a fully modded Magpul's Warhead, tripping off that focus and giving a deplete token if it hits, which will in turn make Porkins a little bit happier when it comes to return fire from Emily's list. But he needs to boost, right, to get range? Or does he have range 3 there? Might have? No, he might have. I think it's a little bit dangerous. I, I would probably boost and, and also give... I, I will just take the focus link to the boost and then give a boost. Um, or or take, take the... Probably just... Uh, this is dangerous. This, this is tricky because he doesn't want to be in the way of the rock to to allow Nimi to get an extra. Oh, I think he used the wrong barrel. Yeah, for the wrong ship. Yeah, so he's gonna barrel right to get the focus token onto onto Jake for free, and then probably boost forward to give a focus to Dutch. That would be nice because then Dutch would have a fully modded ion torpedo to shoot against Nimi. Yep. This is, this, this is scary. <laughs> this is scary, but this is very well played also. This is how you see you see how powerful Jake and Dutch can become together. They they deal out their helpful tokens left and right here. Mm -hmm. um, of course, they are support ships. Typically, if, if the other ships of this list go down, it's very hard for Dutch and Jake themselves to carry. Uh, or to hold their own, basically. It depends, of course, on how much you've managed to shoot down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But apart from the from the two turn with with the ten numb here, I think this is exactly how I would have played on Torbjorn's end. Emil is flipping the. The S foils. Yeah, on... now he's getting the calculates, but he's also taking some drain here, right? Yes. And... Strain is your friend. Yeah. <laughs> well, that means that the Magpul's warhead probably is gonna automatically hit. Yeah. And if that tiny rock is in the way, it's the strain will kind of equalize that extra difference there. So that's uh, Tamin, Paxley starts. Yep. I see a very wonky firing arc right now, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is he shooting at Jack or is he shooting he at he is shooting at Jack, and it's okay. uh, three hits. And modifies that with a focus yeah. to two evades. If you can keep Jack alive here, that's yep. going to be huge, I think. Because he still has one torpedo. And yeah. he knows that Nemi, Nimi will probably be out of commission next turn if she or he survives this. Well, uh, it's uh, actually Jack. Jack is up now, so... Yeah, or whichever she yeah. chooses since they are all in 4 He did is... survive, at least. <laughs> 
Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah, he's, he survived uh, this one, but he needs to survive the whole round, I think. But it's only two more ships shooting at him, and one of them, Nimi, will probably be Magfaust here. Yeah. Flipping one of the charges for the Magfaust. Three dice versus... Was it two? Was it obstructed? He can be chose... Oh, yeah, both of the... Nimi could be chosen to be obstructed, so I guess he chose not to be obstructed. And that's just one evade die. Yeah. Um, that will hit. I'm just... Um, so maybe he shows to... I don't know. Yeah, it depends on how they want to do it. But if I was the attacker, I would definitely... Yeah, I just... So he will suffer one... One crit. One crit, one deplete token and become jammed. Let's see what this is then. It's a disabled power regulator. Oh, and this is actually interesting because if Dutch puts an iron torpedo into Nimi, then this crit will not matter that much because Nimi will fly off onto the rock and then next turn, if he or she is still alive, we'll do the, um, or we will we'll, we'll be free basically of this crit because it disappears after an iron maneuver is made. Oh, this is interesting. He chose to remove a green token. And then, of course, uh, Emil has the choice of which green token to remove. So he chose to remove the calculate, which is, of course, a smart option. Yeah. So still has a a chance versus the coming iron torpedo but we have a focus fire first from tenam tenam only rolls two or yeah don't. that's one hit result oh. and two focus ah, I saw, I saw. Yeah. but that's cancelled that's what happens if you don't if, if you get blocked you roll a third of your potential Do you see all the arcs correctly on the stream? Yep. Okay, I see all the arcs pointing <laughs> that wrong way. <laughs> so it's really difficult. Oh, now I see correct arc. Yeah, so here we should probably see the iron torpedo here on to Nimi. Or, oh no, of course, he doesn't need to do that now. Because Nimi will take an iron token during his yep. or her activation and then be ionized anyway so he could just go for something else but he has the lock oh he sh yeah he shoots primary fire instead two, two crits. crits wow and that's on Nimi so this yeah. is tough oh and he's and got the focus eyes. yes that's that's nice so it didn't hurt that, that much to have the strain versus the mag pulse because the extra calculate could be sacrificed. But did he have an extra strain though? It looks and like that on the table. No, this is a weapons disable or a deplete disable, token. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, not this, yeah, but with deplete. This is from the from the mag pulse. So when he shoots back later on, he should shoot back with only two dice primary. And so now I'm yeah. Now Jack is shooting on to. Braden, I think. Bastian, yeah. I think. Yeah, I mean Bastian. Oh, my, my, my takes, name, name, uh, name skills shield. are on think, the low mark right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. But it, it's, I get a little bit confused with all these arcs also pointing out the side of the ships for me. So that's just something that to live with. 
So we start with Jessica Power. Yeah, she has the rerolls. Yeah. There or we go. She should be rerolling one die. Yeah. And that's a focus. Boom focus. Pending. Plus three. And she shoots at the uh, Jack. And um, yeah. Jack takes two. Mm hmm. It's one shield, one hull. It's two hull, according to me. He's already lost the shields. Mm -hmm. Let's correct that on the overlay. There we go. That's a range one from uh, uh, Niming. Yeah, so gets the extra die, which is now three then, because of that deplete. Yep. So that's oh, one. Yeah, she unfortunately Oops. she had to spend her focuses and calculate, so that's just one. Yeah. yeah. Porkin's still alive. And that's it. Yeah. Interesting turn. Interesting turn. Yeah, and I'm very curious about about Bastion. I mean I mean if it would have been Maybe more efficient to do some sort of bank maneuver and then the barrel roll in order to block. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it would have had any means of getting an arc onto the enemy. Still, but but then of course he wouldn't be stressed. I don't know what what he thinks he can do in order to to attack the others now. I mean, he has, he can do a bank maneuver, blue one. There's no astromech there. So maybe he can uh, try to get, with a boost turn, uh, one um, speed one boost to the, no, not boost, a speed one bank to the right. Yep. But, uh, yeah, that could block potentially if Jack is uh, Jack Porkins. Jack Porkins is trying to do some sort of 4K, where he tries to get rid of the stress and then takes an action. Yeah. So that, but, but then, but I, I, I wonder if Emil called that already a turn before. And I'm also wondering if Jack, Jack Porkins doesn't just, you know do one bank to get into the thick of things and um, barrels I don't know yeah because I think he, at this point um, Emil's um, T70s will definitely block any forward movement from from I, I guess both Dutch and and Porkins and the, the, the danger with this is that if any of these two ships that are in front of, of um, Jake get blocked, then Jake risks running into them and also becoming blocked. Since now he's stressed, his fast or his slowest maneuver is basically the two forward or the two uh, uh, bank or possibly two turn, and all of these maneuvers take him pretty far. And I think I think that the two straight will put him onto the tiny rock or at least very very close to it I think it's under the he should be on the rock so I don't think he can do that so yeah he doesn't want his his uh, porkins or dutch to get blocked not, not too close to home at least it's a tense game. We got uh, 35 minutes left on the clock and slight lead for Emil, 28 points to 25. But oh yeah, 
we'll see what happens now. Yeah, the problem with the next turn here is, of course, that Nimi will not be shooting at anything. Unless... Can another ship... Stand in front of her? Hava is initiative 3. No. Um, it's only Bastion, really, that can... Yeah, uh, Temin could uh, make a forward movement and a barrel roll in front of Nimi as well. No, because Nimi is initiative 2. So it's only Bastion that uh, could potentially go in that space before her or yeah. him. Uh, but he's stressed. That's I don't think unlikely, there's any yeah. way for him to get there. It's too dangerous. I mean, he needs all the ships need to have arcs on the enemy as well. Yeah, that's, there we go with the iron maneuver. So no focus action, of course, and needs to roll for the hit. He's going to go through the rock next sense. time as well. You can see there on the front guides. The rock is in between them, so Nimi is not a very happy camper right now. That's the one back from Bastion. Getting rid of the stress, I believe, right? Yep. This is scary though, with with uh, Tenham coming in. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem. That's why I wondered about that K turn because if he does it like this, the one forward from Tenham will actually fit, no problem. And I don't think there's anything he could do about it. And he still has no guaranteed arc onto Porkins because he doesn't know where Porkins would go. I think. A barrel back into to the right could maybe help with one of the problems. But here we have another. This is a Talon roll. Is he expecting Porkins to go to flee at this point? I'm not sure about that. And if now he's doing this to, to, to uh, close the 4K from Jake, then the 4K will actually hit. Uh, Pava, and then Bastion will be in range one. Mm. But of course, it could be a bump fest here where he bumps uh, Porkins and he bumps Dutch, and then therefore Jake will also be bumped. So, no extra actions this turn. That could, could be his plan. But right now, he only has one effective arc on the enemy, and that's from Temin Wixley. So, we'll see what happens now when. Tobin's turn to move his ships and which order he chooses. Yeah, that's yeah, a one that's forward. The, all forward from 10 now. You called it. It was dangerous for Bastion to be there. But I, I would say it's dangerous for all of the ships to be yeah. there now. Because 10 now is completely safe here. He can do whatever he wants to. I think he's repositioning. Oh, he's doing the other. Now he's, we get to see the use of the stabilized S foils. He's doing the linked action, barrel, and then the target lock. Very interesting. Yeah, double mod. Yeah, that's true. It's just a very good source for the double mod on 10 num especially. Much. Much more useful than on Braylon's drum. On Braylon, you usually want to do the other way to get the focus and then the stress. Okay, so we see that Jake is turning away. That's basically his one of his few options. But now he is in a couple of arcs. I think he's both in Bastion's arc and Wick's this. I 
think they're having some lag now with the maneuvers on the dial. Mm -hmm. The dials can be a bit buggy sometimes, especially if they're on a an elevated area like this. So this whole uh, plaque where it says Swedish Open on mm -hmm. on it, it, it it could be that the players should put their dials onto the actual wooden area instead yeah. uh, to, to prevent that bug from happening it's it's uh, that's at least what i've been told that any object on top of the board actually could disturb the the uh, repositioning button on the dials we will have a look into that yeah So that's a focus from uh, Jake to... Yeah, Jake handing out a focus, but now he's completely unprotected himself. And I don't know, maybe that's a uh, range one from a focused up Wexley. Ooh. That's uh, damage on Jack. Ooh, one HP left on Porkins. But he's safe from any arcs. Morton entered the chat and says, Good afternoon. Hello. And uh, yeah, we should, we should, we should the ask the, the, the chat what, what they think, who, who they will think is ahead or will win. Or Yeah, please type in the chat what, you, what your thoughts are. And. Um, we had a comment that traits uh, from traits from the of the spear that it might work to flip the dial back and forth. Yeah, that that, that can work as well. But one one of the uh, because I, this was actually a problem for me. Uh, because I put my dials uh, uh, resting a little bit on the the red or blue border of the field, and then somebody told me that you if you put your dials on the on the, the wooden area only completely, you will not have that bug. And I don't think I've had that bug ever since I started doing that. It was only a few weeks ago. Let's okay, see. so Jake managed to get to far enough away from Tammy. So, question is, should he shoot at Jake here? Mm -hmm. No tokens, four HP, but three green dice. Yeah, he does. It's a good opportunity shot. And that's only. Why are there only two dice? Oh, he has the uh, the wings, or no, the wings. Uh, he's got oh, uh, the two wings. two hits and one. Uh, okay, maybe the, like. the dice are lagging as well for me. <laughs> two hits. Yeah. And that's two shields off of Jake, right? Nice. Half points. And Jake is now positioned. You no. Know, away from everything no shots needs to get back in in order to help distributing the focuses again on the other hand dutch is pretty much set to deal out more ion damage to nimi here yeah but do you think he will use the ion cannon or do you uh, think he'll go for I, damage? Uh, I think the smart thing here would be to actually do the Ion Cannon onto Temin. Uh, because Nimi him. will take no action this turn, and then Temi would end up actually on that rock. <laughs> <laughs> Is he doing that? No, he's shooting. No, four. he's shooting four dice, okay. Let's hit into crits. 
so I mean it's gonna be another it's of course nice to keep ionizing the same target inflicting one damage one damage one damage until it dies yeah but I think it could have been an opportunity here to just do you know roughly where Nimi will be some so sort of K turn probably one damage and, and iron yep two hull left on Nimi and then you could, you know, focus your iron, uh, your iron cannon onto Temin, and then have him stand on the rock and not be able to shoot. And then just have Tenam maybe or or uh, Porkins finish off Nimi. But that's also a little bit greedy. <laughs> Greed is good. Well, it can win you games. It can also <laughs> lose you games. <laughs> So this was the shot from um, 10. Oh, that's a lot of free focus actions. Of yep. focus. That's four hits. And this is on uh, it green. It must be on Pava, right? Yes. So that's one there is some eight. lag on my end, so I have trouble following out the combat. So it's good if you can see that and call that out. So that's Three. Oh yeah, that's that a is a Jessica because of the reroll there, right? It's three shields. Shields down on Jessica. No, no, no! You should take Nimi out. <laughs> yeah, it's because he's also range one shot against Jessica or Bastian. I mean, he. he at this point, he is shooting first with all but Temin, so he can actually initiative kill something next round as well. But this was on Jessica. Two more damage. Yeah. It's half and points. I think this is, uh, yeah, it's half points. I think it's, it's, of course, it's good to keep a couple of the enemy's ships low so that you can initiative kill one or two of them more easily next turn not spread your damage too much but it is an added benefit of shooting first that you can actually decimate large portions of the enemy's list before they can actually shoot and this is okay, actually so an Dutch and Jake at shoot. range three. yeah no obstruction is he shooting at yeah Jake could kill Jake here. Only nope. two dice because of what? Uh, is the S4 flipped? No, they are. Oh, oh well, no, they. Okay, they are closed on the. Yeah, they are closed on the actual. A lot of evades. <laughs> they are. They are open on the model. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, safe. Yeah, we got 21 minutes left, and now Thorbjörn is in a slight lead of 51 points against Emil's 48 points. That that close still. That's yeah, interesting. Three points. But I still think that Thorbjörn has the the lead in the game in terms of positioning because he has. Both now Jack Porkins and Tenam flying in behind all other ships. Mm -hmm. And he knows that Nimi will fly over that tiny rock. And he has a nice arc on the iron turret from Dutch. The only problematic thing, I guess, is Jake. Jake needs to. Jake is halved already, and he needs to either get, get away from 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 the enemy completely or somehow find a way to turn back and keep dealing his his um, tokens to his friends but it's difficult because he's in, he's, he's in front of dutch what could happen is maybe the dutch takes a too hard i think that could fit to the side of jake and jake mm -hmm. just then 
does a one heart and boost to give to get away from combat and give give one focus token to Dutch. That could be one way of solving it, and then go r around that rock and get back in later. And ten now, magic pork is they can just go straight, <laughs> one straight each. The question is then, Nimi probably K turns at that point needs to to get some damage in. And she will get no action from going over the rock anyway, so might as well do that K turn for K. Yeah, Nimi is uh, ionized. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can see that she, she or he is ionized again. Okay, <laughs> then she won't be doing anything. Actually, she will be standing on that rock for another turn because of Duchess positioning there. Yeah. It's really nice. Well flown, Torbjorn. Um, so, okay, hmm. yeah, so that's, that kind of strengthens Torbjorn's position any uh, way more, to be honest. Jessica Pava is turned the wrong way, Bastian is ahead of Jake Forkins in the basically the same chassis, so even and if he goes slow, uh, Jake will not overtake him. Ten is just going to take one, one forward here. He's gonna have a great shot on Nimi. Or yeah, something yeah, else. Abs absolutely. So, the Jessica Pava's Tyler Roller or K-turn or whatever it was last round, I'm not sure about that. Of course, maybe... And here's the bomb. Which, I'm just thinking, no. I was th thinking if, if uh, Jessica could go, you know, one forward and block Bastian, so then Bastian would block even a one turn. Yeah. Or uh, uh, one, one forward from, from Jack, but that doesn't work with initiative difference, so Bastian will have to move first. And here we have the bomb, which will, of course, hit the bumped poor Nimi. No damage from the rock. Jake. I think actually Bastian missed the chance at a lock on Jack, right? When Jack took that damage, mm -hmm. should have been within range too. Or is it only when defending? No, it should be. No, as soon as he shift his delta damage card. He can take that block. Doesn't matter if he's stressed. Okay, Pava, banking. Maybe they can catch Jake here. Unless Jake goes the other way, of course. That's always an option. Looping back. Yes. Okay, I think we're seeing a maneuver here. Oh, is that a boost? No, I think he's trying to grab a barrel, but the dial is flashing. So they are using them. Going about it the old traditional way. That we, that we all, someday, soon, hopefully, will need to go back to <laughs> when we're playing in real life again. I have to use all these manual things that we thought we're not no longer needed. Yeah, that's pretty good. That looks, looks good to me.
There we go. Is the yes foils and doing hmm talon roll there's a lot of talon rolls in cage returns going on on Emma's <laughs> side very not, not 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 much afraid of getting stressed or not gaining any mods but that's just a term thermal detonator. He might get lucky. Even if he gets strained, that's not a big problem, I think. No, no not at this point. No, oh, and he's going to take a blue maneuver next turn anyways. I hope. We'll see. It's going to be very interesting now. So, so Tenna did not go one straight. No. Maybe he thinks he can kill Nimi in some other way with a bomb and maybe another ion burst from from Dutch and he wants to focus on the other ships. Do you think he's gonna block um, Jack? Could to be, keep the could be to maintain that range one um, arc onto Jessica Pava here. Oh, Jessica good. Pava is also getting a little bit... Oh Ooh. no. I didn't see that coming. No, me neither. They, they are... They are playing their own way. So Jack is uh, getting it one shot from Temen Vexley, I guess. Porkins, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, probably. Could could kill Unmodified. him. Unmodified. Yeah, and here we see Jake, of course, taking the other way around. Maybe just to give some space for for Dutch. But of course, also here to try to control the range, getting that free focus after the barrel. And let's see if he wants to focus. He could focus as well to definitely get out of Bastion's arc here. But yeah, and here we see the, the slow but sure killing of ships through Ion Dam. Because if that bomb's hit, if it, if it, Focuses now on Nimi. If that bomb hits, then Nimi will die from the iron. Well, he can probably shoot with his. Uh... No, he can't. I guess. <laughs> I mean, this is this is good focus firing, of course. But it could all. You could also argue that he could just have gone one forward with both. Tenant and Jack, and then shoot Nimi with them if they need to, both of them, and then start ionizing Bastion, for example. Yeah. They can control him. So we have two ships affected by the thermal detonator. So Nimi rolls first. And I have lag, but it's a black. Yeah. Safe. See if he. That's a that's hit. A hit onto ten. And that's the first shield. Yeah. Still pretty. Pretty good. Oh yeah, he's doing the flip flip together. Yeah, and this is I think this is pretty good. Because Jessica has nothing. Or is this only for a few select ships? It's not all the ships. Okay. Yeah, this is of course the strain here is, is doesn't mean anything. Yeah, that's so good. And and then you gain a token as well. Yeah, absolutely. So you, you can use that offensively now to try to take down Porkins. Mm. 
Yeah, and you can do it while you're stressed. Yeah. And, and this yeah, is what that we're looking is, for. That is a perfect, perfect hit, I would say. Check Porkins. Oh, that's close, though. He takes Taking one crit. It. That's it. For Porkins. He don't have any shots, so he... There's no simultaneous fire. No. Porkins is dead. He died as fast as in the movie. Spoiler alert. But they are resolving our initiative four ships first, I guess, to play by yeah. the rules. It's a range one, Jessica, and yeah, just spend that. Oh, that's so much much value. Yeah, you roll like that. <laughs> Four hits. I'm stressed, so I'm frankly, yeah, frank, frantically yes, gone. pressing the fire, the fire button on my fight control, and I'm shooting better. There we go. Checking for rerolls, but no friendly ships within range one. Yeah, she only has two two hull left, so she's gonna take two either way. Yeah. But there's um, another ship dead. Two two dead ships. This is turning out quite interesting. At the oh. moment, we have 76 points to 76 points. Ooh. That's the ion cannon. Onto... Onto Nimi or onto... Yeah, onto Nimi, of course. Yeah. yeah. Because of the reward. So that's three. Double of eight, come on. Nothing. Just taking one a one damage and one uh, one ion. Yeah. Well, the yeah, thing you, is you that could argue that you know walking the ship over the rock and away slowly like this, keep firing with the ion cannon. That's one sure way of 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 ensuring that you're basically only using Dutch. You're only using one ship to slowly kill another ship. Uh, so all the other ships can focus on dealing damage but I don't know I, I feel like you know it's ionized fine kill it, kill it quickly with something else and then use the continue using your iron turret to start doing the same to another ship yeah we got about six minutes left on the clock and I think we'll see uh, Tenam turning in to take a shot. Well, Nimi's got to die, basically. Uh, yeah, I mean, at, at this point, Tenam should probably just do a two turn to the right. That yeah. gives him the most options to catch these two remaining ships. Um. And Jake should just run. Uh... Jake, yeah, but I think, yeah. And he's in a pretty... I don't know if he's in a good position, because Nimi will get a focus token this turn. And if Jake keeps turning in there, he's going to end up in, in the arc yeah. again. Um, unless, of course, Nimi gets killed dead first. <laughs> um... Temin is in a good position to start flanking Tenam here. As long as he, you know, moves At the moment, carefully. you, you got to uh, give Ten three damage to take him down to half points. So yeah, gotta... but that can happen pretty fast with a one agility ship. Um, yeah. Question is, though, what should Bastion do? He, 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 ideally, he would maybe just go three back, try to chase after 
uh, Jake, what, while at the same time blocking Dutch. I think he's gonna go for a K turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Based on what we've seen so far, maybe. Um, and, and then. Uh, Tammy. Getting on the other side of Dutch would be really good for him. Yeah. yeah. Of course, Dutch can always turn the arc, but then he gets no lock that turn. Locking would, of course, be the perfect move. Maybe a two bank then. Two bank and hope that Dutch is not going fast. But if I would, was playing Dutch here, you know, I would try to read that and go three bank with Dutch. Or maybe even, yeah, three bank to the left. I think we'll see a bomb here, another uh, thermal detonators. Yeah, so if the bomb doesn't kill Nimi. He could, he could just drop two at this point, it's almost over. Yeah, he's dropping two, right? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that, that's, that's smart because he has twice the chance now of killing Nimi without firing a single shot, so that's good, that's smart. I don't think he will be bombing much else in this game anyways. Getting the focus at least here. But focus tokens don't protect against bombs. So at the moment, if uh, if if everyone survives this turn, we'll have a final a roll off. Yeah. Ooh, and that was not. Yeah, it was bumped. It was bumped. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see the the sticker because of the X wing's position of its uh, chassis. Yeah. And now he's close to one of the bombs. Tamin is free, out of range, I think. Needs to take a an action here now, off offensive action. Could potentially get four damage into, if, if Tenam is doing two bank now, or two, two hard, I mean, to the right, should get range one. And without being in arc as well. That could be four damage into and to see evades and have have him. Yep. There we go. Exactly. Well, he's probably gonna take a barrel roll to range two. Yeah, yeah. To be completely safe, if he can fit, I think he can. Fit. Yeah, no problem. He can go backwards. Yeah, no problem. But yeah, he should probably do that. Or is he thinking about if he thinks about? Yeah. Still in range, but no risk of getting halved. So killing Nimi will give Thorbjörn 24 points. And halving Tenamb will give Emil 25 points. <laughs> ah, okay. But so Nimi needs hard. to survive basically here. Yeah. How about Bastian? Bastian is healthy. If Nimi is extremely lucky now with the rolls and rolls no hits or crits and survives. There is nothing else shooting at him or her. Well, yeah, the, the, the iron. iron turret, of course, can. But now he's switching the locks to Tenum. Here comes Jake with a vengeance. Yeah, if the bombs don't kill Nimi, I think Jake will. He has the orc since before. And that's time. That's time, yeah. And Jake can just sit back, of course, he does not want to boost in close to the bombs because that could end him as well. <laughs> <laughs> so just sit there nicely and we'll see. Who dies 
it's protected from that uh, arc as well. Ella from that rock. Mm. So that's one hit. And that's the dead. Was that for Nimi or for? Yeah. Yeah, it was for Nimi. Okay, so Nimi's dead. And then we have. Bastion. That's one damage. Taking a hit as well. Is he safe from the other bomb? Because that's the first bomb, right? Yeah, and the other bomb, is he safe? Yep, safe from that. happened if if he even had fo focus fired on Dutch instead mm -hmm. in this game just to, to to avoid all those ionizing things and bombs how quickly can Dutch be killed in a in he was flipping his S foils here as well and that's a great way of and he has to calculate as well calculate. why not use it unfortunately ten now has got three shields yeah, otherwise, I mean, consider that being a range one shot if he hadn't been able yeah. to barrel. Or if he had taken one damage or a couple of damage before. Out. And then, of course, Dutch before Bastion can shoot. Um. That's the range one, Dutch but can only make doesn't really matter. Yeah, no, that you can only can't really no make to spend any tokens here. Fine to be ionized. <laughs> only one, not not even getting. Yeah, he has to lock. Okay, two. Becomes ionized unless he rolls uh, an evade here. Spend Don't it. spend it. Shoot Jake <laughs> instead. Yeah. And one of the strain tokens gone. So Thank that's uh, one hull to half points on uh, Bastion. Looks like half points. Yeah, because he's still strained, and yeah. And this crit will actually be relevant now if it's weapons failure or something like that. Or a double damage. Fuel leak. Fuel. Yeah, the double damage wouldn't have mattered. Even, even this doesn't matter at all. All weapons, weapons disabled and blind and piled, or weapons failure and blind and piled are the only two crits that you don't want to see at this point. So that's a range three through the rock. Yeah. So that's three versus five, and he has a focus, I think. But Ooh, it's, it's a, crit. a that's good start. Very good yeah. start. Now we have the five. It would be exciting with five blanks here. Or four blanks and one evade. <sighs> Ooh! So that's one crit. Takes one crit. That could be, but I don't know if that matters from it's, a point it's, perspective. Yeah, it oh. does. Oh, stun, stun pilot! <laughs> well, that was close. That was close. In the end, excitement. <laughs> cool. Well. This is it. Uh, Torbjorn wins 124 against 101 points. And let's jump over to that table and see what the players has to say. Absolutely.
Uh, actually, you never. Hello. <laughs> yeah. She never got into the fight again. No, not really. No. Congratulations, Torbjorn. Hello. Excuse me. Congratulations, Hello. Torbjorn. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And uh, well played, Emil. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, w what is your uh, analysis analysis on this game? Uh, which one of us? Well, we can start with the Emil. What would you have <laughs> done different? Um, I think uh, like uh, one or like the th third round, I think when mm. I. Uh, talent rolled with Jessica Pava. I probably wouldn't have done that. I was trying too hard to block him, and I spent too many ships blocking. I think mm -hmm. that's a big thing I would change. I think, probably. Otherwise, I'm. I mean, pretty okay. Uh, I feel. Yeah. yeah. Well, you had the 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 the. the, the, the oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The thing you did with Tem and Wexley was really effective as well when you flipped the S-Files. Yeah, I love, I really love this list because it's very simple, but it can do a lot of things. And mm. you can get mods even when you're doing K-turns and stuff, so that's fun. Yeah, and, uh, and as well with the Jack yeah. Porkins uh, combination. Uh, we saw it, I think, twice, but with you uh, focusing, boosting, and then... Um, Getting rid of the stress. Basically. Yes. Yeah. 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 It is. Uh, it's really fun. And if eh, maybe more people will know about it now, but uh, when you're not really used to it, it's it's a little bit. It's it's strange the the, the way he can fly, but he he, he ends up. I took uh, two damage on it. Mm -hmm. But that's sort of the price if you can get off two proton torpedoes. I think. Mm. And then just it's just so much fun to fly like a crazy defender <laughs> in a way. Yeah, yeah so he, he is an expendable in that case. Yeah, we w we were discussing a little bit about the target priority uh, when facing a list like this with many different uh, chassis, um, because uh, Dutch seemed to be like a MVP. Uh, mm. ship in this matchup due to all the control of the ions and the bombs mm. uh, and still Dutch is a ship speaking from experience that goes down very fast if focus fired yeah and and that's that is true but it is a little bit hard because which which ship are you going to to fire I mean Jake is, is slippery uh, and and it, it it sort of depends on what and I I was a little bit, I, I probably would have ionized Nimi anyway when she was behind the rock because uh, I had iron torpedoes I would have used instead. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah we were talking about that as well. Yeah it was only because I got the crit disabled power regulator that I chose to uh, shoot with the main gun. Exactly. I got two crits but uh, she managed to evade them so uh, that was yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and but, talking but, about crits, yeah. <laughs> that last uh, attack against mm -hmm. Jake, that was a real nail biter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I called my five uh, planks. So um, it's uh, when I roll many green dice, they usually fail me hard. So mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, it's, green, it's... green dice are not your friend. Oh, they never. Are. Yeah. Most of the time, sometimes they can be your plot armor almost. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, but it, it, oh, was, it was much closer than I thought, actually, um, uh, uh, in this game. In the end, uh, we both got some good points, chunk yeah. of points out of your opponent. Yeah. Well, what was the standing? I haven't counted. Well, it was uh, 124 points for Torbjorn and uh, 101 points for Emil. Ah, yeah. cool. And it was uh, we were talking about it, but if. Uh, 10 wouldn't have barrel rolled he would have been at range one mm -hmm. so if he would have taken one more damage uh mm. emil would have uh, gone past uh, torbjorn isn't but 10 he is on, at half yeah, 10 is at half yeah is so, he yeah let's see so i actually got uh four hull left on 10. yeah 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 that's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so he is already at half well, there, it wasn't that close then. 
So thank you. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. But but my all my ships are sort of close to fifty points. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, same, same with me. So. Yeah. So that's also why it's the the point spread is really you know it's even. So. Yeah. I'm, if you only have shoot one and half it, it's almost just seventy five points. So. It's uh, it's really nice. I think. Uh, at least I, I'm pretty happy with the game, considering I was down like one ship the entire game. Yeah, the Nimi. yeah, Nimi didn't uh, contrib contribute <laughs> no. very much to the game, unfortunately. I, I did. I, I made a mens layer. I, I was. I had to put on uh, one straight for for Jack when he was standing, you know, down next to uh, in this area. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, but baby, if he, if Emil does something, I can. If he flies. Fast with Jess, I can't really get a shot on her, so I, I did a two turn. I should just have done a one bank instead, or mm, so, so yeah. I would have cleared my stress. I, I think I died anyways, but something, something that maybe could have gotten me out of turn in Wixley's arc. Yeah. I just think it's fascinating that the smallest rock in the game costs so <laughs> much <laughs> the biggest yeah. ammo <laughs> with iron. And <laughs> it, yeah. that's, that's the standard. I mean, it, it's. <laughs> I also I had another game. I mean, it was also the only rock that was hit three times by three different ships. In, mm. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> People think ah, I can easily fit, ah, mm. but then you move a little bit too uh, differently, and then you you hit it. Yeah, it's funny. Well, thank you very much, both players. Well played, and thank you, you won. It was a, it's always a pleasure having you on. Thank uh, you, likewise. We're going to close down the stream for tonight, but uh, we'll be back next week. And don't forget to enroll for the Swedish Open. We still have a couple of weeks to go. And, uh, well, hope to see you there. So yeah. uh, have cool. a good night and goodbye. Yeah, yeah. goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Thanks.